I'd like to talk about today is um, perturbation training or reactive step training. It's been a bit of a revolution in terms of fall prevention in older people because what's been undertaken most often is consistent long-term exercise training. And this means that basically people have to do a range of exercises that look at training up standing balance and um, strength in the lower limbs. And it's really like in many other areas, it's been considered that you really need to have maintained consistent training in the long term to have an effect on preventing falls. Perturbation training, on the other hand, can be quite quick. It, it has a, a different premise in that it's trying to train a person up into the skills they need to avoid fall. And some studies that have been over, undertaken overseas actually indicate that you only need a few sessions where you actually put people in a lab and you perturb them by tripping them or slipping them. And this results in new skills that lead to the ability to withstand the trip or the slip in the lab immediately after. But not only that, it seems to prevent people having a fall in the real world for long periods afterwards as well. People come into a lab, they'll either go onto a treadmill or a walkway and without notice they'll be subject to a hazard. The hazard will either be the platform moving in forwards or backwards to simulate a slipper or a trip, or it actually might be an obstacle coming out of the floor. So just what happens in the real world, a person is walking along, they hit the hazard, they have to recover. So the logic behind it all is if we can expose people to this a number of times, they'll learn how to cope with it in the future if they're out and about in the general environment. 